We've got Indra. Here she comes. Hi, Indra. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, both. Oh, thank you for not abandoning the waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, sure some of you have, have seen that council meeting that's been whizzing down the internet when, when they get so angry with each other that they press a button and put the chairman in the waiting room. It's just <laughs> The whole thing is, is live. <laughs> and they really hate each other. It makes <laughs> Best viewing, but <laughs> um, I haven't seen that. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's 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 whizzing round. So I'm sure I'm sure we can find it for you. But Indra, mm -hmm. you've been a, a a great source of inspiration to Rachel and I because you pop up on all sorts of situations on lives and <laughs> we're we're oh. of course you've got a name that we can't forget because we don't know any other person called Indra. It's a wonderful name. No. Uh, so tell us what you find, good or bad, with 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 the academy. Well, I mean, a bit like there's a bit of a theme, I think, with um, Jay and Marty. It's definitely been, for me, an experience that's really lifted my spirits while I'm learning lots at the same time. And I just, you know, a bit like Marty, I, I, I can overthink if I'm not careful. So I love a system and your system is wonderful. But actually, I'm having probably the most fun that I've had in a long time, despite the, despite the fact that we're in lockdown the weather is terrible. I'm no longer on a yard, so I've got no facilities. I've got soggy fields and wet hacking. Um, but it's great. And even the couple of weeks where I couldn't ride, I could still learn because we had the videos, we had the lives, we had Debbie's Mindset Monday sessions. And then there's the kind of community on the Facebook page and so forth. And, and I, you know, I nearly didn't join, actually. Um, you know, I am denied. I thought about it for months. Um, uh, and I'm so glad I did. What what made you sort of not want to join originally? Well, a bit like Jay said at the beginning, I I didn't think I was um, would be good enough. I mean, I'm not even at 80. You know, I started riding, learning to ride about 10 years ago, and I'm aiming for my wobbleberry challenge, which is yeah. 80. So I'm competing at about 65, sort of 70 at the moment, and. Um, Finally got my first ever double clear, having been eliminated at Feds four of the cross country the time before. So you know it's um it's pretty baby steps, but every time we finish, we we you know my horse is pleased as punch, and and I'm sort of full of um excitement. But you know I I never imagined that actually this would be a time given everything that's going on where my riding would improve. And, you know, I've talked to you a bit about Bob being nappy. I mean, he's an amazing horse. I'm incredibly lucky to have him. But I rode out yesterday and we were doing some of our work and he was the least nappy. He has been leaving the fields for ages. And I realised that, you know, in our, our hacking now has focus, but I'm not drilling him. It's not drudgery. It's not kind of boring repetition but we've got a bit of a focus and he's he's feeding off that too I think and you have know you I love having a system up? so it's great has the challenge that, 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 that we did that lockdown laugh is that what's given you the focus on your hacking I that that's been an added bonus but the stop go for me has been really good and the um standing up at the stirrups which I used to do a lot and realized I hadn't done much for about a year and I'd really lost a lot of my kind of balance and cool strength yeah. um and I've got an unbacked youngster who's a companion on loan to live with Bob um and I've been taking him out and doing some stuff in hand as well including the challenge and it's been such fun for him because I'm giving him an education so yeah. once he's backed he's just going to be fantastic Oh, that's that's so lovely to hear, and and I've heard so many good things about these challenges. And I I have to say, although I invented these challenges entirely, Rachel's idea to do it, but I invented them only because I sort of thought I want each thing that they do to help them towards how they're going to be able to ride better across country, mm -hmm. be it a physical thing or a mental connection with their horse or something. Mm -hmm. Each challenge is going to do that. So exactly. I go out myself now. And think, gosh, I should have done much more of this. How have I not been doing this much more? Because I have only put it into the challenge because we wanted to have a challenge. And I'm thinking, actually, this I should be doing every day because it makes hacking, as you just said, Indra, so much fun. So yeah. for those in the academy that probably are not listening, Rachel and I, I think, are going to put the challenges into one hub somewhere in the academy so that you can all have a crack at it. Because Brilliant. Not yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you know, 
That's but it's brilliant. Really- Great to hear that. In yeah. And also, I've been able to watch back some of my old footage, my last and my one and only clear cross country round. And I've watched it back thinking about what I've learned and what I've been learning from you in the academy. And it's and it has changed what I think I need to work on. You know, I had an idea of what I needed to improve and it's yeah, it's added so to that as well. And I can some of that I can do when I'm hacking. It's just brilliant yeah. and so much fun. I can't thank you enough for putting it so so eloquently, actually, and so well into words, because a lot of us know that something needs to be said, but it's just actually finding the words to say it. So that's terrific. Really and thank you to both of you, because I know it's so much work and, you know, we're extraordinarily lucky. So thank oh, you. I thank Rachel because she spends hours on this tech thing. My, well, my MBE page would not do the Facebook Live, and they spent all of one morning trying to. You don't ring up Facebook, but you try and get into finding out why. No. And well, they I, went all that time because they still cannot make my MBE page have a Facebook Live. Is that right, Rachel? Yeah. So if there's anybody out there that is a Facebook wizzo, let me know. Yes, we please. cannot go live in the in the Facebook in Lucinda's MBE page, which is so frustrating. But. Anyway, that's fine because we've got our lovely groups here. Um, I tell you what I wanted to just ask because we I had an email from such a nice lady um, saying, oh, I think she's in America. And she was saying so many things have happened and I feel like I'm so far behind and I'm, you know, everybody else is moving forward and I haven't, I'm still haven't finished watching the second video and blah, 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 blah. And I, and I said, went, came back to her and said, oh my goodness, I'm really upset that you think you need mm. to keep up. Mm. Um, because obviously people, every, everyone's circumstances yeah. are different and things yeah. pop up. So I just wanted to let everybody know that there is no hard and fast pace that you have to go through this green print. It's a, it's, it just, pop you know whenever you're ready type of thing what do you think yeah Yeah, and I'm definitely doing it at my own pace and I'm having little bursts where I do quite a lot like Christmas was a bit busier and then work was a nightmare so I hardly did anything except a bit of mindset homework for, for a fortnight and and you know I don't I think I don't think anybody either I think it's a totally supportive there's no competition it's a supportive community you know every, we're all doing our own pace working at our own pace and doing our own thing so um yeah, yeah absolutely I, I I don't I don't worry about that um mm. myself mm. I just feel it's really flexible to what I'm able mm. to give and and some weeks that's a bit more than others yeah that, that's that's ter- the moment when I just like to uh, glance at Terry Ann Swarbrick's yeah. in question who's got a lockdown rosier at the livery yard which means she wouldn't be able to get back mm. for a lot of 7 p.m things and yes we will try and stick to 7 p.m it's going to be difficult when we deal with our next um <clears throat> our next disco chat uh, no our next mental monday actually is going to be with andrew mclean from australia it's going to be for horses minds and that will have to be eight o'clock otherwise it's too early in the morning for him but on the whole it is seven but the point is that everything that we do gets recorded if, if Rachel remembers to press the button which I do now <laughs> she does usually and then she loads it up so you can look at everything the only thing you'll miss is you can't actually ask the questions but the next time maybe you can lodge a question even though you can't come lodge a question yeah. the next time and it might it might it might not get answered because sometimes we have too many questions but yeah. I don't think it should be something that you hang back from because you've got six more months to wait until yeah. it the gain yeah. terry hard. a lot of people i mean on the on average we've um we usually have about 60 70 people that come on the lives um and then the rest of the the academy members they tend to watch it afterwards um and again you can just put questions in the comments below and and we 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 watch out for those as well so so don't not join because because of the time constraint um everything's always there we're, we're terribly aware because we're busy too. Mm. <laughs> Not quite as busy as we used to be, but we're no. busy again, we hope. And we're terribly aware that this could be one of the drawbacks of people joining the academy. They simply won't have time. So that's why everything is, is recorded. Mm. And as mm. you were saying, Indra, you go at your own pace. Yeah. If it takes you a year to get through the green print, who cares? Doesn't yeah. Matter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I've, I've um, listened back a few times while I'm cooking the tea as well. So, you know, yeah, there's the flexibility Actually, of it. It's great. You ought, you ought to tell them about the iPhone now because that, that's... Yeah, I will. I tell you what, we'll go to Emma and then I'll I'll also, I'll also tell you about um, about that as well. But, Indra, thank you. And, 
I, I just want Thank to give you. Indra a big shout out because she is so amazing in the community. She's always in the chat, in the in the comments, encouraging everybody. You definitely are the number one, <laughs> the number one academy member for motivating everybody. Well, I hate to say number one because there's lots of number ones, but you are definitely at the oh, very top. Thank you. You're, you're, you're really kind. Awesome. You're yeah. the emphasis of, of what um, yeah. we were hearing earlier about yeah. it's so nice to have a Facebook thing that is entirely unbitchy. And yeah. so many, you are the exact antithesis of those bitchy comments that some people can't resist putting in in Facebook. We haven't had them yet. When we do, we're going to have a serious execution. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it'll happen. I don't think it'll happen. We, 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 I, I've on many times that the challenges have come through and I've commented and I've often commented that that basically isn't quite the right thing to do because I felt it would help them if they were trying. For instance, a lot of people did the standing in the stirrup leaning forward. A, that was too easy. B, you want to get your core strength sitting up. So I yeah. would often comment, you know, that was really a good effort, but you must try and get yourself a little bit more vertical. And that's not being bitchy. That's just helping people along. And I'm not going to off soap everybody and say you're all marvellous because you're never going to learn anything. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's, it's lovely that it's been recognised mm. in a very positive experience and not, you know, we have enough things going wrong in our lives not to have to be no. beat up by some foreigner 